<laughs> Nuremberg 1944. Okay, then I do remember these intermission cutscenes. Military parade. Wow, that's quite a number of sprites there. Propaganda transmission. Goodness me, look at those. September 14th, 1944. After the liberation of France and the fall of the Eastern Front, Hitler gathers the most trusted members of his party for the annual Reich Party Tag in Nuremberg, Germany. Achtung, Kameraden! Total victory is within, finally within our grasp. Now, we have created the weapons to purge this world of degenerates and miscreants for the future of our people. Seek Heil! The Nazis broadcast their propaganda unrelentingly to an audience all across Europe, who quiver with fear. Is that all? Yes, I think that's all. I think Hitler was talking about the whole Zyklon C thing. I'm guessing they finally managed to we fully weaponize the thing. To a very unhappy, unhappy allied forces. One wonders how was he able to do it so fast since, you know, um, Mengele is dead. Oh well. Headquarters. <sighs> this is a bittersweet victory, you understand? Yeah, I know, Ryan is dead. Happy, happy, I guess. I still lost a perfectly good armor. <sighs> okay, then. Really? Yeah. Give me the rest of the vitality serums. Excellent, there we go. 200%. Excellent. How much, how much does it cost? No, you're not good. Why would you? Tesla. Look, guys, here's the thing. Flag jackets are a good in between, okay? But Tesla shields are, are a bit too much for me. Because the protection is very short lasting. Heavy armor is, is the perfect in between because it has the, the best armor absorption. Oh, well, actually, no. It has. A really good armor absorption compared to the flag jacket, and it's really durable. It's like the blue. Ar no, actually, it's different. But I was thinking of the blue armor in the Hades Destructor, but it's very different. But yeah, it, it's like the perfect in between because Tesla shields they have the best armor absorption. Yes, you're practically invulnerable with it on. But well, as I've said before, the thing lasts for like 10 seconds. You get hit for 10 seconds and it's gone. But with heavy armor, it lasts for quite a bit. Because, you know, it has 200% protection. And yeah, I know. You can get Tesla Shield for 200% as well. You could buy it twice and, you know, get 200%. But here's the thing. It still would not, would not last as long as the heavy armor. I'm going to go in a run again if I don't stop myself right now because... Perfectly good heavy armor from the previous map. <laughs> uh, let's just say I'm happy that I got the vitality serums and leave it at that. Yes, sir. I don't need healing. Yeah. What has happened to James Ryan? I cooked him. I cooked his goose, both figuratively and literally. Well, actually, no, I didn't cook his goose. I cooked him. What's up, Randy? Yeah. Let it go, Zek. Let it go. I have no idea, Otto. Beat, beat, just beats me. It was his fault, anyways, for betraying to someone who can carry a whole bunch of arsenal in his possession. Like, I. Come on, man. Like Ryan should have known. He saw me beat through the beaches of Normandy 
He saw me destroy a whole bunch of Nazi operations in Thor's Hammer and Hades and, uh, and all that, and he still decided to defect. I would have accepted his apology if he had, you know, let down his weapon. Like, I would have still kicked him in the shins and punched him in the jaw for killing Douglas, but if he had surrendered, I might have given him a chance. But he didn't. He drew his gun and shot at me to his very last. And well, he came what he got what he wanted. He got what he deserved, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> can't st still can't access this room, man. Eh? Anything in you in Douglas's room? No. No, there isn't. Maybe something in mine. Well, there we go then. Big giant old X on his, um picture now. There goes James Ryan, the douche, the sandbag. Should've known what you, should've known what you were getting into, Ryan. You killed Douglas. Hey, what's up? Oh. Actually, oh, hang on. Is, it, is this a continuation to, um, I, uh, Regen Sherm? Yes, okay. Let's get to the point. Okay. Understood. Okay. Well, they, they are undead. I'm pretty sure. The Spear of Destiny? I mean... Professor, you did saw what happened in Regen Sherm, right? They were uncontrollable, completely uncontrollable. How could? Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense if Hitler wasn't there with the spear of destiny, but still, uh, surely. So even Germany itself can't control the zombies. Only Hitler can. Well, okay. So I, I think I understand now what uh, the what Chapter Two is. This intermission was trying to talk about that. There were, Chapters 1 and 2 had intermissions as well, and they were talking about how, yes, he can rule the world, but it's going to take a bit for him to hold it. And I'm guessing that's exactly it. Hitler is working even beyond Germany. That's the thing. Nazis were just means to an end for him. And I'm guessing, the moment we get, the moment we fight him, he's going to be holding the Spear of Destiny, and he's going to proclaim to be beyond uh, God among men. Just straight up God, probably. And yeah, that's going to be a very interesting fight, uh, I'm sure. So, 300 gold. Stan... Really? $80? No, I, I'm not gonna need it. Armor... No. Have I ever needed any of these? No. Once again, you've yet to actually provide me with anything that I'm interested in. Field kits and med kits are all full. Look at that. After the nonsense that was Eisenhurst and Regent Sherm, I've bounced right back up in terms of equipment and supplies, so... You know, I guess I'll be just keeping these 300 gold with me. Sure, why not? No. Or maybe, um. No, um. Never mind. I'm gonna go talk to Juliet. I'm sure she's happy. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Nine mil. Well, that's a bit more than that, there. Miss Bertrand. Madame Bertrand. I kinda set him ablaze. Yes. I'll reward you too. What's up, Arlo? Still nothing, eh? Okay then. I'm still considering whether or not I should buy something. Because, well... I don't actually know if there's a gold limit to Blade of Agony. I haven't actually acquired that much gold to... Assume whether or not... 
I mean, yes, I've cheated a couple of times while, you know, testing my add-ons, but a lot of the... Uh, it doesn't really tell me anything. It tells me that I can acquire some things, but it doesn't really tell me anything. Shall I or shan't I? Hmm. I already got a backpack, so that's... That's out of the picture. Totalemach, maybe? Yes, I don't have a Totalemach. Maybe I shall take one. I already got an adrenaline kit. Wow, that was a poor... That was a poor move on my part. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was a really poor move on my part. Should not have done that. Just let me go talk to you again and Arlo and then... Yeah, just making sure. Just in case there's a flag or something that uh, triggers when I talk to people. Okay, so. I already got an adrenaline kit, so I don't need more. Focus should be on things that I don't have. Oh, aside from the treasure shield, which I don't want. Totalemah, there we go. I got about 50. What, what else could I get? Could I get some mines? Yeah, okay, I'll take some mines. Mines can be very much useful. If a whole bunch of enemy is chasing me, I can just drop one, have them run straight to it, blow up, and bada bing, bada boom. Cook, roast, Nazi. Okay, that's all there is to it for this particular bit. Nothing more to be said, nothing more to be done. <sighs> Perfect score on Starfeston. Still nothing on Regent Sherm though. How could I have missed enemies in Regent Sherm? Now that I think of it again. All of the zombies were not counted at all. And well, um. The regular Nazi enemies that I killed in the building was numbered. They were numbered. So. I couldn't have missed any. Because, you know, you kinda need to kill all of them. Will it be a bug or something? I will admit it, that it is my fault for a secret though. I missed it. Just flat out. Bit of a shame. But... Well, what can you do? Okay then. Enough dilly dallying around on past mistakes. Let's continue. Are we marching straight to Berlin with this? Operation Wiedergebert. Congratulations, William. That was difficult for you to fight against James Ryan, despite what he did. But he chose the wrong side and fucked with the wrong people. But we still have much to do before the war is over. Allied Intelligence, with the help of Professor, Professor Gutenberg and Lieutenant Arlo, have analyzed the files and clues you found in Arnhem. And thanks to you, we managed to track the problem to its source. As we already su suspected, the Nazis are using their new Zyklon C gas to poison thousands of victims at once and mutate them into mindless savages. Professor Gutenberg has gone into enough details about the risk of this new biochemical weapon, so there is no need for further explanation. According to radio transmissions we decoded, the last of Hitler's dual goons will soon test the Zyklon C bioweapon on Rustenburg in hopes of overwhelming the Allies with their undead army. We need to stop them. Sergeant Asher will bring you close to the Führer Bunker of Schanze, just outside of Rustenburg. We are... S s no, actually, it's a different place. I is it Berlin? It's not Berlin. It's a different place. Never mind. Once you arrive, you are to eliminate the remaining pool members and fight your way through the bunker to Rustenburg. The Soviets have been repairing the Eastern Front, and God willing, you will rendezvous with them on the streets of Rustenburg. Dismissed. Okay, yeah, so this is still technically... Uh, the. We still got about three more missions ahead of us, so I suspect that um, we'll probably need to do quite a bit, fair bit more before we get to Berlin and kick Hitler in the shit. Yes. yes. Uh, okay then. I don't have any more money to spend. I got all that I want. Let's do it to it. Okay. I'm sure we'll be too. Let's do it to it. Evening there, Asher. How do you do? Naturally. Yeah, I'm just... Okay. Okay, thank you, Asher. Appreciate it. I will keep it on the map, actually. Because... 
And uh, the frames have gone down the drains again, so this will probably be quite a big map. Quite a big map indeed. Can I hop over the fence? No, I can't. Unfortunate. It's always the case with maps with large amount of trees, isn't it? I remember this happening as well in uh, Eisenman when I replayed it a whole a while back. 